What's going on guys and girls? My name is James, or thanks to ya, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Pixelmon adventure here on the lovely Pixel Core server. Welcome back everyone, how are you all doing? Are you good? Excellent. Is that the Pokemon? Yeah it is. Uh, okay, so yeah, what have we done since last time? Well, if you remember correctly, in the last episode, we actually caught ourselves our third member of our party, which was a Ghastly. So that was pretty damn cool. And like, on the way from walking back, we were sort of in... Ooh, Electabuzz. Hello. Uh, sort of walking down this way, that's kind of the way we went. Uh, I found this thing called a Bisharp. Uh, now, uh, I've never seen a Bisharp before, so I had to do a bit of Googling. Then I figured out what it was, and it's actually level 52, so I managed to catch it just with some Ultra Balls. Just chuck some Ultra Balls at it. Um, this isn't... Oh god, look how cool it looks. Doesn't it look awesome? It looks like a spaceman. Um, but yeah, it's just, this is not really like a proper member of our party, I don't think, but the reason why I caught it is it's really, really useful. It's so I can like... Let me get rid of you because you keep talking. Oh god, come back! There we go. Uh, so I can actually use it to power level some of my sort of smaller Pokemans, which is what I've been doing with Ghastly there. Uh, oh yeah, I was reading through the comments and stuff, so uh, I've renamed my uh, Tepig Ronald, of course, and uh, I've gone with Jeff. Jeff the Pikachu, because I quite like Jeff. Um, so we do need a name for Ghastly, so if you can think of a, just a stupid name for Ghastly that has nothing to do with Ghost or anything at all, but it's just ridiculous, then uh, yeah, let me know, and uh, we can stick it down. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of what I've been doing, so I've been sort of searching for something that's... Is that, is that a Ratata boss? No way. Let's fight it. A level 57 Ratata! Holy mother of... Okay. I actually... I actually want to... If I can run away from this, I wanted to... Oh, it's going to kill me. Uh, I wanted to... Hang on, let me send out... If I send out Ghastly first, and then I swap in the old Bisharp, uh, and then I use... Night Slash! Oh, it's so powerful! Yeah, this thing is a beast. Like, I've never, ever used this Pokemon, ever, uh, in any of the games. Did we get anything good? Ghastly has grown, Ghastly has grown. Payback! Uh, the user stores power, then attacks. If the user can use this attack after the target, its power is what? If the user can use this attack after the target... I think there might be some text missing there. The power is doubled. Um, so this is the skill set we've got. I've got Hypnosis, which is really useful. Lick is kind of rubbish, but it's the only, like, attack that I have other than Nightshade. But Nightshade is... It's, um... It's, uh... It's kind of not that great at the moment. Sucker Punch is powerful, but it's only got 5 PP. So uh, if it fails, the target is not. I think I might get rid of Sucker Punch. Maybe. Ooh. Hey. I got a Dusk Ball. Huh? Oh, yeah, of course, as well as that, Ghastly's evolving, so I thought I'd wait until uh, Ghastly was evolved. Oh, as well as that, I read some comments as well, and people say that I shouldn't evolve my Pikachu until it learns a special move. I think it's a Volt Charge or something like that. So we'll hold off uh, our Pikachu. Oh, my God, look at that Lickitung in the background. Evolve! Dun, 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 Yay! Your Ghastly evolved into Haunter. Happy, happy days. So we've got ourselves a Haunter now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and I would quite like to get it up to maybe sort of around level 30-ish. So hopefully if we can find some... What level are you? You are massive! Level 32 and you're that big. All right, you know what? Screw it. You only live once. So yeah, swap into the Bisharp. This is like my, my grinding machine. It's really, really good. It's so strong. Like that one attack, um, Night Slash, is insanely powerful. Oh god, my throat. <coughs> Grab a drink there quickly. <coughs> oh, that's better. Right, see, so yeah, this is kind of what I've been doing right now. So, I was thinking, like, what we could get for our, um, uh, our, like, fourth proper member. And I'd quite like to go for a water Pokemon, because I think that would be a good way of doing it. Um, but it's just a case of we should really sort of... Oh, Kangaskhan's. I remember these being really high level. That one's level 27. They're not high level. They're massive, though. Hmm. Fear, that'll do. Yeah. No, come on, fight! Hunter. No! Come on! <laughs> oh, for God's sake. I'll show you why I'm around here in it as well in a minute. Um, why are you running away from me? Come on! Ah! There we go, happy days. So, uh, we'll go Pokemon! Bisharp! Bisharp's out again. Uh, night Slash. Ooh, nearly. This thing's been like one hit killing loads of things. Uh, once it's level 20, once it's level 28. Payback? Didn't I just already not... Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, so I'm kind of in this village now because I sort of, for now anyway, I've. Oh my god! Oh my god, look at this! Oh, I didn't realize they spawned in water like that. There's like seven Pokemon in this tiny little lake. That's mad. Uh, so yeah, I'm, in, I'm back in this little village where we came in the uh, the first episode because it's really, really useful to kind of like squat in here for now until I build myself like a little place. So I've got these chests here, which were already here. I put some of my various stuffs in. And then over here we have um, some healing machines. So it's really useful because we don't have to go back uh, to the poker center every single time, uh, which is kind of cool. We don't really have that many potions and stuff just yet to carry around. Um, so really, really useful for sort of... Um, Give me more balls back. There we go. Uh, really useful for kind of like doing some grindy grindy. Uh, I would quite like to find something quite high level though because... Um, did I go to that snow biome? Yeah, I think I did. That was where we found our... Oh, it was a Vulpix. Uh, that's where we found our um, Haunter... Ghastly. That's where we found our Ghastly. Uh, Norman the Ghastly is quite good. Ooh, Norman. Do you like Norman? Hmm. Actually, I'll let you decide. I think that's cool. Um... But yeah, let, let me know what you think I should call Mr. Ghastly. So what I was thinking in this episode is there was that really cool sort of like volcano area with um, like lava coming down from it, which I think might be a quite cool place to look. But uh, for now, what I think we should do is kind of just have a little wander around and hopefully uh, we'll find some good stuff. So my spawn point is saved in that um, in that place. So yeah, this is definitely this is definitely. Uh, a good place for psychic Pokemon in this um, sort of like snowy area. What the hell is that huge hole there? Can you see that? Was that always there? Quiet! I wonder what's in there. Should we go and check that out? I've not seen that before. What? Because this is where um, there was like. Oh, what were they called? Like the Diglets, and they had like the uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently someone told me that Dan uh, found my piece of wool that I just stuck in that Diglet. Um, uh, but it's, there was nothing in there, uh, but there was like another another item in there, and there was like there was no point to having it there. I was a little bit confused by that. Oh, what the hell is this? What? Oh God. Uh. What is this? And what are those blocks? I, I kind of want that Pokeball as well at the top there. Um, all right, so what we'll do is we'll grab ourselves some cobble because I've left all of my cobble at the house thinking that I wasn't really going to um, need any. Oh God, well, that was a stupid thing to do because obviously we do. Uh, let's try and sort of hardcore parkour our way over here. Place, place. Oh, I'm one block away, hang on. There we go. Man, this texture pack is beautiful, I've got to say. Very, very cool. Uh, yes. Alright. So it was like... It was on the top here, wasn't it? Uh, I need a few more blocks. Steal the sand! I hear a diglet. Ta-da! Ah, oh, it's fallen down. Okay, so it's a it was a, just a hyper potion. Uh, well, it's good better than nothing, I've got to say. So let's go and grab that. Ow! Oh, no fall damage. Uh, so okay, so we found our hyper potion whilst we're down here, but I don't really understand why it's just a massive, massive, massive hole. Um, and I'm wondering, is this glowstone? Oh, it's glowstone. Oops. So why is there glowstone down here? Um. Do you think someone else did this, or do you think this is how it how it actually is? Because I genuinely have no idea. Uh, we'll have a little look around here, because um, I don't really know. I mean, that's cobble. It's so cool down here. Like, um, There's going to be gyms and stuff introduced uh, fairly soon, so this would be an awesome place for like a... Um, a uh, like a stone gym or something. What the hell is this place, man? It's awesome! Um, I must admit I'm slightly confused. There's also no Pixelmon down here, which is actually quite creepy, seeing as if we go up, there's loads just everywhere. Um, are we... Where are we? Oh my god, look at that chunk error. <laughs> that looks insane. This thing is huge! You see how far it goes? We'll follow it. We'll follow it. Um for a little bit. Let's put some torches down, but the the glowstone intrigues me, to be honest. 
It's very, very interesting. Uh, oh, wouldn't it be cool if there's like a legendary down here or something? I don't think we're going to find much. I don't think we're going to find any Pokemon down here for some reason. Uh, let's just follow it for a couple more minutes. And if we don't find anything, then I'll, I'll turn back and we'll go back up to the surface and carry on with what we're kind of supposed to be doing. Um, but yeah. I really like this place. <laughs> this would be like... It reminds me of sort of a... Uh, like an adventure map style thing. Where, um... Ooh. Ooh, I see more stuff. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Whatever that is, there's lava like pouring from the ceiling in there. I've got to check that out. We've got to check that out. Um, I wonder if any of the other guys have found this. Because it's quite close to spawn. It's not like far away. Alright, this is now confusing me. Oh, okay, so we've got some pixel on here now. Whoa! Um. Oh my god. Um, this is insane. Is is this a is this a gym? Will this be a gym? It might do, but there's a pokeball in the middle. Should we go and should we, should we crack it open? Oh, there's two. A friend ball. Oh, and a leaf stone. Nice. Yeah, you know what? I think this is this is going to be a gym. Yeah! Wow, that's insane. Alright, I'm well looking forward to coming back here and battling. That's going to be awesome. Okay, right. So yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the surface, um, because obviously up until now, the gym leader, it's typical in Pokemon, right? When you want to fight the gym leader, the gym leader ain't there. No, nope, he's in a cave somewhere. He's playing with Professor Oaks. Uh, Tauros. I don't know. Um, Igglybuff. And, uh, yeah, you have to come back a bit later, so hopefully at some point soon we'll be coming back down here and doing some cool stuff with it. But, uh, yeah, okay, so I'll meet you guys back at the surface in a second. Okay, so I'm, I'm back at the house again. Um, I still don't really know what that was, to be honest. Uh, it was very cool, though. Um, so I'm thinking that might be one of the first gyms that will be implemented pretty soon, so excited about going to go and fight that. Uh, so I've stashed my thing away here. To be honest, the trip was worth it for a leaf stone, um, because the stones are relatively hard to get. Um, basically because the, the island was custom built, so like under the ground and stuff, it's not the same as if it were sort of randomly generated, if that makes sense. So it's much more difficult to find like the, the evolution stones and things, which is why we currently don't have a, um, what are they called? A thingamajig. Oh, Snorlax. Uh, <laughs> if they don't have a, ah, oh, he's a junkie. Uh, we don't have a, uh, a thunderstone. Yes, thunderstone. So that is the issue currently. But yeah, let's go back here. Oops, one second. My uh, my phone loves to go off in the middle of recording. Uh, no one, no one contacts me other than when I'm recording, and then I'm like, ah. But it's good. It's okay. You're a big magic up, so. Mm. I wonder when I'm gonna find my first shiny. I really want one, or like a, a legendary. No, maybe not a legendary just yet. That might be a bit, bit, bit greedy. But definitely a shiny would be cool. Um, oh, for God's sake, a dwibble, really. Pay oh my god, Payback didn't kill it in one, are you serious? Oh well. I got it the second time around. Yeah, we need to we need to teach um, our Haunter some like better moves because like I don't know. The, the moves that it's got right now are not great. Um so I'm wondering when it learns I think it learns Shadow Ball, if I remember correctly. So Shadow Ball would be awesome. Um Yeah, this is kind of where I want to be, sort of on the coastline, because we it would be quite nice to find a oh my god you're massive it'd be quite nice to find a like a water type pokemon so i'm thinking like on a coastal area might be pretty good so we've come to this side of the island here um let's have a look shall we hopefully we can find something uh i, I quite i quite fancy uh, a, 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 a star you and a star me um so i quite like those but See, there's a lot of there's a lot of magic art, and the obvious one would be a Gyarados, and I don't want to go like too obvious, obvious. So I'd like to have something a little bit different, a little bit. But it doesn't seem that this area is particularly populated at the moment. <gasps> what is that? Do you see it? <laughs> what the hell is that? A boss? It's like bright green. Is it a boss? It's a boss. Should we try and fight it? All right, go on then. Hunter. 
That's oh, okay. It's level 58, so that's not too bad. Let's swap straight to our... Ooh, let's try Jeff out, actually. I know it's like 20 levels too low, but... Electro Ball. Uh, it's dead. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, we're going to just try and Night Slash. Ah, oh, I'm confused. I'm going to hurt myself with confusion about a million times. One more hit. Come on, stay with me, bro. Yes. Bishop, use Night Slash on Seeking. Uh, oh, my hunter gained experience as well. Level 29, level 30. Oh. <gasps> oh. I thought it was a... I thought it was a um, uh, a stone for some reason. Hone claws, not a great move. Ether, and that's not too bad though. That's a pretty cool looking boss, I've got to say. Uh, I was, I slightly thought it was a shiny. I, I don't really want a shiny sea king. That would be like one of the most rubbish ones, but you know, lots of crabby. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. All right, so this, this trip wasn't in vain. We did find a, a pretty cool boss. Um, I'd like to find an electric boss because then I think I've got a better chance of. Um, finding a, a Thunderstone, so when our Pikachu does eventually learn this elusive move that I've been told about, then we can evolve him straight away. Um, I wonder if for like the bigger ones, if I if I sailed out like into the into the world, um, maybe there'd be some like bigger water creatures, if that makes sense. Um, because or a cloister might be cool. Ooh, because I know cloister as well as water, it does like ice. So I think, ooh, that's a good idea actually. Maybe uh, there were lots of shelter. I think yeah, shelter. There were lots of. Oh, wait. <laughs> I thought that was just like something falling. Um, yeah, there was like quite a lot of shelter um, back at the beginning area there. So maybe that might be our best shot for a water Pokemon. To be honest, um, I would quite like a cloister. I tend to like go on which Pokemon look sort of the best as opposed to ones which are probably stronger, uh, which is not the best way to do it, I will admit, but um Goldie, Goldie. Yeah, I quite fancy that actually. Mill tanks. Ekins. Um Are we back in this I think we've gone like sort of around the outskirt of one of the areas, and I think we're back in this this like swampy biome, and then this one was where we found that Bosch, Boss Magikarp. Oh, look, it's a Poly, whatever his name is. Poliwhirl. A Poliwrath might be cool. Oh, for God's sake. Duosion. Man, you've got a nice voice. Mm. <laughs> uh, should, we, should we kill it? Yeah, let's kill it. Let's try and put it to sleep. Yes. All right, let's try Nightshade out. Uh, that's not too bad. We'll, we'll Nightshade it to death. Oh, hypnosis is so OP. Yeah, we'll do one more payback. Boom. Super effective. Oh, payback is super effective. Okay. Haunter's grown to level 31. Hey, bro. What is that? Oh, is that a Golduck? Oh, man. The more, the more you play, like, just the more sort of so many different types of Pokemon that you kind of forgot existed. So I've just started popping up everywhere, which is really, really cool. Um... I would really love to find like some more boss Pokemon because it, if we can grind them out, then um, I don't think can you catch boss Pokemon. You might be able to. That might be fun. We find like a really cool boss, but then again, it might drop something awesome. Oh, the dilemmas. Mm, the dilemmas. There's a trainer over there. Hollywood. Sorry, that was my impression. Was it good? No. Okay. Uh, there's a trainer over there. We could, if it's a grass one. Andy! <laughs> you're only level 60. <laughs> Fight me, bro! Ooh, B drill. Payback. Payback. Another B drill. Gonna give you more payback. Oh, yeah. The beauty about Haunterite is that it's just, Hunter. it's just, there's, there's so, so much stuff that Hunter. doesn't kill it. So, um, oh, I might as well payback this Poliwag as well. This is what you get for fighting the big boys. He did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this, oh, oh, oh someone else. What the hell is that? A duosion. Oh. I thought it was a Solosis. I am so confused. Poliwhirls. Poliwrath might be quite fun, actually. Um, I always used to quite like Poliwrath. Do you think that would be a good choice for what have I gone? I think it might. It might be fun. It's certainly something a bit different. What the hell is that? 
Random chunk error. Well, it's not chunk error. Random Minecraft failure. Uh, we could, we could, we could, we could roll with a polywrath. I think we should catch it, and then if um, which one looks nicer? This one or this one? <laughs> he looks so silly. I'm gonna go for that one. I should know this one because just in case it's learnt some moves. Uh, let's actually get a polywag and train it up because then yeah, I should probably get the lowest one. That might be a good idea, wherever it's gone. And I've lost them all. Fantastic. Yeah, Polyrath might be quite fun. It's something a bit different, isn't it? I don't want to go, like, too sort of obvious, if that makes sense. Um, so, for now, anyway, it might be quite good to have a water Pokemon. But there's no reason why we can't change it up in the future, if we need to. Um, because, man, that is a big Psyduck. Hello, sir, you massive. Can I pat? Why are you so big? You're like my size. <laughs> uh, all right. Ooh. Is that what I'm looking for? That's a polywag. God damn it! It's level 26 though. It's lower. But I'd quite like to find a polywag because then, uh, and I think poly does polywhirl evolve with a water stone because we have a water stone. So what I could do is ah. Oh, I heard on. Hello, sir. Level 14. Perfect. All right. Let's put it to sleep. All right, let's get the old bag out. Let's go Pokeballs. Um, friend. Should we use a friend ball? Whatever the hell that is. Yeah, cool. We'll use a friend ball because it might be a different color. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Ah, it broke out. How can you break out when you're sleeping? It just doesn't make any sense. All right, Ultra Ball. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that is cold. Nice, though. We got it? Yes! We've captured a polywag. We need a name for polywag now as well. Uh, all right, you got, you're got. going to have to get creative with these names. I want literally the worst possible names possible uh, because they're definitely the funniest. Uh, I'm actually going to change my, my battle order here. Um, I found out, by the way, yeah, someone told me you can actually change between the Pokemon using uh, the, uh, the, the brackets, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let me just change that there as default. Um, so I've got, I've got quite a bit of training to do here, to be honest, which is pretty cool. Um, so it would be nice to find something either really, really high level or like a couple of trainers or something. Because then it will really help with the... That's level 30. It will really help with the um, like the training of it. So, hmm. What can we find in our Pixelmon world? There is a Nekans. That's it. Now about... Oh, 42, that'll do. Blop. That's a Haunter. Why the hell do... Oh. Uh, what did I do there? Ah, oh, there we go. Changed my order, but didn't change my order. Alright, Pokemon. Let's go... Bishop's nearly dead. Uh, but I reckon he's probably got one hit in him. Night Slash! Oh god, don't die, don't die. You're my only hope! Yes! 25... Oh, double slap. Ah, mm. oh, it's got Hypnosis as well, that'll be fun. Uh, I will get rid of Water Sport just for now, but... It's not really... We're probably going to get rid of that as well. Rain Dance. Uh, the user summons heavy rain that falls five times, powering a water-type Pokemon. Nah. Uh, level 19. Awesome. Oh, bro. Mm. What we could do, actually, is... Um, if we head back... <gasps> it's a Paras! God, you're big. Oh, it's a Parasect. I like you, let's fight! Alright. Joke's on you because I've got a Bishop. And it is a beast. Oh man, it's hanging in there, isn't it? And it's dead. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Uh, let's see what let's see what Haunter can do. Uh, try and do a payback on it. Hopefully we... Um, hopefully we... Um, oh god. Oh, I've run out of PP. Did I get it? Yes! Probably work to level 20, 21... It's learned Body Slam. Yes, Body Slam is better than Double Slap. So, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, I think what we should do is we should probably head back to the house and um, heal up a little bit. I think that might be a good idea. Um, and then what we'll do is we will um, we'll continue with our training, hopefully. So we'll try and get this Poliwag evolved uh, into a Poliwhirl. 
and try and teach it all of its various moves, that kind of thing. I might actually go on Wikipedia and just double check uh, its move set and stuff because I don't want to evolve it too early and then sort of miss out on some moves and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So I think that's probably about it for this episode. Doesn't time fly when you play Pixel Um uh, So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you uh, could please remember to leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Uh, really helps me out and sort of shows that uh, people are watching and stuff. So very, very appreciative of that. And uh, yeah, I will see you again very, very soon. So until next time, thanks once again for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, thanks. See ya.